This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Meatlocks brand bicycle U-lock. This showed up in my P.O. box without a note or return address, so thanks to the anonymous sender. I looked this up online, and these seem to sell in the $25 to $30 range, making it a fairly low-cost product as far as bike locks go. For the money, you get a fairly well-hardened 12mm thick shackle, which secures into a lock body fashioned from a hardened steel pipe. It appears that much of the internal support in the lock body is plastic, which is something I've come to expect at this price point. The core is a slider sidebar design that's relatively common on a wide variety of Chinese-made locks. Inside are two banks of four sliders, and each bank controls a separate sidebar. I've picked a fair number of these cores in the past, and the pick resistance can vary widely. So let's see what it takes to get into this one. I'm going to use this thick Z-bar as a turning tool and to move the sliders I'm going to use this standard hook in 18 thousandths inserted sideways and then I'm going to rotate the pick to lift the sliders up. A little click out of one, nice click on two and a fair bit of movement on that core. Three seams set. So does four. I think we set that entire right bank. Let's move on to the left bank of sliders. Nothing on one, two, little click out of three, some movement on the core, nothing on four. Back to the beginning, nothing on one, click out of two, click out of three, nothing on four. Nothing on one, click out of two, Click out of three, nothing on four. It feels like these sliders have tapered sides that lead to the true gates, which means we'll probably have to set each one several times. If I push really hard on my turning tool, I might be able to bring that number down. Click out of one and two, nothing on three or four, nothing on one, Click out of two, little movement on the core. Click out of three, nothing on four. Nothing on one, click out of two. Click out of three, nothing on four. We must be getting close. One, click out of two, and we got this open. Okay, folks, as you saw, that wasn't overly difficult to open, but it wasn't particularly easy either. Frankly, given the low price point, it's a bit harder than I was expecting. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.